Thank you. Uh, my name is Ms. Sorshain Görgülü. Uh, I'm working at Eskişehir Osman Gazi University. And the title of our presentation is High Degree B-Spline Algorithms for Numerical Solutions of the Coder dot Gibbon Equation. Uh, the co-author of this study is the Dursun Örük. And uh, my contents are like these. Uh, in this study, two different collocation methods based on the optic and the nonic B spline functions are used to get the numerical solution of the quadri dot given equation. Uh, the single soliton solution of this equation is examined by both of the uh, B spline algorithms and the comparison of the numerical results with the exact solution of this equation are given by tables and the figures. The quadrilot given equation has the uh, form as in the equation one with the initial and boundary conditions like these. And this equation is a, a class of fifth order quarterback device equation. And this is used to model the well-known wave phenomena in the uh, quantum mechanics and the um, nonlinear optic optics and the numerical solution of the uh, quadri uh, dot given equation uh, are studied before by some researchers uh, by the uh, a domain decomposition method and the higher wavelet method, um, Pedro Galarkin method, collocation method, and the variational iteration techniques. In this paper, uh, two simple numerical B supply algorithms are proposed. Uh, taking into account the difficulties of the uh, getting this equation's exact solution uh, due to its nonlinearity and having a fifth uh, order derivative. In numerical methods, uh, we consider a uniform mesh uh, with the nodes X sub R uh, and uh, the space step denotes by H and the exact solution of the unknown functions uh, are denoted by U and the numerical solutions of it uh, is den denoted by the uh, capital U and the delta T denotes the time step. And for time discretization of this uh, equation, we use the crank nicholson method. And uh, together with these uh, approximations, um, then we obtained this equation for this is the uh, time discursive form of the quadri dot given equation. And using the, the following recursive formula, uh, which is mentioned by De Boer, uh, we obtain the B spline functions uh, with, the, with the various uh, degrees. And the optic and the nonic B spline functions are uh, again obtained by this. Uh, recursive uh, formula. And uh, if you want some details, you, you can see uh, the details in the uh, Beza Kohumus master thesis. Uh, the optic B spline uh, functions at the nodes uh, can be obtained by the following uh, <coughs> formula. Uh, these are these, like these. And the numerical method, optic B spline collocation method, uh, for the space discretization of the uh, time discursive form of the quadri dot given equation, uh, is uh, will be obtained. Uh, first, we take the uh, approximate solution capital U. Uh, here, B8 is the optic B supplies, and deltas are the time dependent unknowns, uh, which will be calculated later and the appro approximation and its first seventh order derivatives uh, over the elements like this uh, can obtain uh, as follows uh, by using the uh, optic B spline functions in the um, approximations uh, equation. And finally, the uh, fully discursive form of the quadri dot given equation is 
uh, obtained by using the optic piece line collocation method uh, like this. And here the uh, parameters are chosen as thus the system consists of uh, n plus one equations and n plus uh, eight unknowns with front. By using the boundary conditions, uh, some parameters uh, are eliminated, uh, eliminated from the system. Uh, then the obtained n plus one uh, times n plus one metric system is solved easily uh, using the MATLAB packet program. To be start the iteration of this system, uh, the term uh, delta zero is achieved by the help of the initial and the uh, boundary conditions of this equation. Then the uh, other uh, deltas at the next um, times can be obtained. Uh, since we get an implicit system, according to the term delta, uh, we use an inner iteration in which before using the calculations of next time step uh, approximation for the time parameter. Then the other uh, V-subline we use is nonic V-subline. Uh, again, it's uh, obtained by the uh, recur recurrence relations as in uh, 11. And the parameters are like this. And the other numerical methods we uh, suggest is the uh, nonic B supply collocation method. Um, again, for space discretization of the uh, time discretized form of the quadri dot given equation is used. Uh, and let me uh, take the approximation capital U as in 12. Here B9 is the uh, nonic piece of line and deltas are the time defined unknowns again. And the approximation solution and its first eight orders derivatives over the uh, elements like this can be written as follows. And finally, the fully discursive form of the quadrilot given equation is obtained as follows again. Where the parameters are like this. Uh, this time, the system is obtained, which has uh, n plus one equation and n plus nine unknowns. Uh, again, using the boundary conditions, some parameters, uh, first four n plus four uh, parameters are eliminated from the system. Uh, thus, the solvable mat matrix system is uh, obtained and then solved by the uh, oh, MATLAB packet program. And uh, similar with the previous method, the other uh, steps are uh, repeated. Uh, for the test problem, uh, we take the propagation of a single soliton wave. Uh, here, the accuracy of the methods is calculated by the following L infinity error norm, and the time and space discretizations order of convergence are completed by the following formula. This is uh, two different formula for delta T and the H values. And the single soliton wave solution of this equation is uh, can be given like this. Uh, the computation domain is fixed in these intervals and the initial condition can be obtained from the, this uh, exact solution like this. And the boundary conditions are taken as zero for this uh, equation. The simulation of the wave during the time interval uh, zero, uh, zero, uh, 04 is shown in these figures for both of uh, our proposed methods. Uh, and the uh, error norms are given uh, next uh, table. And from this figure, uh, it's seen that the obtained wave uh, remain in the initial. Um, this is, remains its initial shape during the uh, running time for both of the methods. You can see.
and this uh, the table one. Uh, if we uh, looking at the change in the uh, error norms over time, uh, it can be said that it supports the uh, <coughs> previous uh, situation and the uh, method success will stimulate this way because of the uh, error norms is so little for uh, these methods. And the comparison of the obtained error norms um, for each of our proposed methods and the quintic B supply and collocation method uh, in the Kara Arts study uh, are given in this table. Uh, according to this table, while uh, step uh, space steps is decreased, all of the error norms decrease. And it seems clearly that the uh, our methods uh, have lesser error norm values than the uh, other uh, method. And the nonic B spline collocation method is, has the less errors for the uh, various uh, values of the age. Uh, table three and four are given to see the uh, conservation invariance for the uh, proposed methods. Uh, from table three, uh, when the time step is fixed as uh, 0 or 1, the space discretization of the uh, convergence for the uh, optic piece supplying collocation method is around 5. Uh, for the other uh, method, the non piece supplying collocation method is around 6. From table 4, when the space step is fixed as uh, 0 or uh, 2 or 5, the time discretization of the, of the convergence of the both of the methods is around 2. And the distribution of the absolute error uh, at time 0 or 4 is demonstrated in these figures. As carefully inspected from the figures, uh, the error uh, is observed at the middle of the space interval, both of them. And this result is also compatible with the results we obtained in table one. In conclusion, uh, the numerical solution of the coded dot given equation is present by two finite elements method, uh, which are the collocation methods based on optic and the non b spline functions. And for space discretization of the methods, the optic and the non b spline functions are used as trivial functions. And for time discretization, the crank nicholson method is used. Uh, what is considerable in this study is that the use of the uh, high degree b spline functions that have not been used before uh, to solve numerically high order partial differential equations. Uh, the soliton wave solution of quarterback de Vars uh, uh, code dot given, sorry, is uh, simulated successfully to see the efficiency and the accuracy of the methods and the error is considerably small for both of the proposed methods. And uh, finally, uh, we have seen from this examination uh, that the high degree B sublime functions may be used to get the numerical solutions uh, of a high order nonlinear uh, partial differential equations, which has the uh, similar properties with our uh, equation. Thank you very much for listening to me. Dear uh, Professor Gölgülü, thank you very much for your excellent talk uh, regarding the subject. Uh, is there any question or comment regarding the presentation of uh, Professor? Seems no. Uh, thank you again, uh, Professor Gyorgyu. Uh, you can close your. Uh,